Please, stay by my side today. Oh! Who's sleep with Mr. Greyhairs? Good thing um, we stomped some sense into Sotaro. So you see what's going on, Corey Kenshin here, and welcome back to Mermaid Swap. So um, yeah, last time Sotaro, that's like a tried to kill us. Um, basically he got uh, you know, indoctrinated by the Mermaid Swamp curse or whatever. But um, a couple of kicks in the groin or wherever Rin stomped him at, and he's back to normal now. Um, that's good because I was thinking that Rin was all on her own. Hey, what's going on, Satara? What? I just wanted to talk, that's all. Um, what about the boiler room? Hey, I went in the boiler room and I found this power generator thing. A power generator? Why is that in a boiler room? Heck if I know. There's a water heater and plumbing in all of this other mess. Wonder what it's all for. Plumbing? Well, that's curious. I'll have to check that later. Alright, what about, um... What about the button? Found this in a fish tank. Know what it is? Hmm, well, hmm, a plastic button. Maybe it's for some machine? Actually, there's a boat outside. Yeah, yeah, he told us that that button was for the boat, but I don't know how to use it. Uh, the map. Hey, Sotaro, you got a compass or something? Huh? Why? I found this dirty old map. I want to go to this red mark, but I don't know the directions. Ah, I see. Here, borrow this. Hey. A watch? What the heck for? Hold it level and point the hour hand toward the sun. Right in the middle of 12 in the hour hand indicates south. Oh, I got you. Thanks. Okay, we got a compass. Last thing. The mermaid swamp. Hey, Sitaro, about this mermaid legend, what do you think? You figure anything about it? What's this all of a sudden? Hey, you got a good head of- Wait, what'd it say? Hey, you got a good head if nothing else. Just figure you might have made something of it. You're getting more on my nerves by the minute. The mermaid legend, huh? Well, it's weird. A mermaid? Here are the mountains? And there's a lot of weird bits to it. Weird bits? Legends like this are usually made, uh, are usually made either to bring people in or keep people away. Like, couples who come to this lake stay together forever. Kappa live in this river, so stay away. The former brings people, the latter repels them. And this mermaid legend, clearly it's a keep away. Talking about a curse tells you it's dangerous. Yeah, and what about all that? What are they keeping people away from? Eh? People wouldn't come here in the first place. There's a village, but not many people. Why a legend that keeps people away? Really don't want them swimming in the swamp? And why would... And why make an elaborate story about a man stealing a mermaid and getting cursed? Just saying Kappa would do fine. And there's even more that's off. Like what? The legend says it's part of the mermaid's curse that girls vanish from the village. Why would girls vanish? If the mermaid has a, had a grudge, wouldn't it be against the men of this vi family, the Tsuchitas? Why take unrelated village girls? You got a point. Like a bunch of them. It's clearly been fabricated for something. But what could such an er utterly fake legend be for? That's what I want to know. Alright, freaking five minute conversation. I'm just trying to see what you're talking about. Bought the freaking compass and you gotta tell me all this crap. Alright, so, let me check this watch out. Um, yeah, we can't interact with it. So let's go outside, then. It said the hour hand, something, something, 12 o'clock means south. What's going on with this swamp? Alright, can't really do anything about that. What did this thing do again? You don't understand it. Alright. Um, can we go this way? Nope. Wait, hold up. Face this to the sun. Our hand's here, and south's between 12 and our hand. Alright, so the old mansion's to the south. And the mark on the map is east, so... That means something's across the swamp. Would take forever to go around. Is there anything else I could do? Ah, okay, so we're gonna have to cross, I think. 
Um, <gasps> we got the freaking boat. We got a boat. Hold up. Hold up. Motorboat. Inserted the red button. Sounded like a Crooked Man sound effect. Or actually a, a Sandman sound effect. Now I'll just start up the engine and get to the other side. Ren! Sitaro? What? Going to that spot on the map? I'm coming with you. Don't want you taking a dive again. Ah, shut up! Alright, guys. Going on a boat ride. Hey! Going on a boat ride. Hopefully, um, we don't fall off. Because, like I said, a brother gets a little nervous when I'm in open water. And, you know, I can't feel the bottom with my feet. Um, it's not because I'm black, you freaking racist. Alright, uh, let me see this. We got some rocks here. Um... And we really don't have much going on. Let me save it. Just in case freaking mermaid swamp person wants to come wants to come talk some smack. Go get freaking samurai slice sucker. Cause my name is Kori Kenshin. Alright, I guess we going uh Dude, what what the freak what can we do? Oh, maybe we should check the map. Ah There's an X by a brown mark. What's it marking? Treasure! Freaking treasure. It must be around here, right? Here's a brown mark. Or here's another brown mark. Oh, what? Hold up. Hold up. Let me say that again. The ground here... The ground here is weird. It makes a weird sound when you step on it. Hey, treasure! A grate. Looks like we can remove it. I can see something below. Looks like there's a ladder. Going down. Alright. Why is that a good idea? Hey, Ren. Where's the lantern I gave you? Oh, I broke it a while back. Well, screw you too. <laughs> hey, you got that lighter, though. You hold that and follow me, alright? Oh, what? We actually am following him. What? What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. That should help. Let's go. Oh, he gave me his check. Sotaro, baby, just. <laughs> yeah, thanks. He is such a gentleman, though. Oh, I can't pause it. Hold up. Let me save it, bruh. All right, come on. I'm getting left behind. What is it? Dynamite? Doesn't look locked. Oh, doesn't look locked. Let's go in. Dude, we should have freaking grabbed a weapon first. What's going on? Oh! What the freak? A monster! Was she naked too? No. It's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A, a, a corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with at its what the freak at a purser. S say again. It's a non-decayed corpse kept away from open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I know what the legend is all about. Wait, really? Why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? C Cause mermaids don't exist. That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid, so we won't believe a mermaid legend. So what if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? A man from the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach, maybe a diver, maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loves seeing her in the water, so he has her live in a fish tank? Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. So, so that's how these corpses were made? But wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? What? If you left the corpse in water for a month, it'd normally be falling apart by then. 
it's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposefully preserved right as they started uh, swelling. Wait, purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading? What if it was pres to preserve these corpses? Oh! The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved most. All the freaking sick... L loved These corpses? There's some strange people out there with some strange preferences. No one else might even know of them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't want to rot, so he went to a last resort. But that eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes village girls. He couldn't He couldn't have just one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have set them up to continuously fill the fish tanks with that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Tsuchida men. They adore the sight of women, women drowning in the water. Such that they drown them themselves. Oh my gosh. There was a never a freaking mermaid. They were just regular women being forced to be in water. Oh my gosh. That is, that is, that is dreadful. That's crazy. These women were abducted for that? So this is the truth of the mermaid. But I don't understand. Why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose at all? Ja. The women. The Tsuchida men. Huh? Wouldn't the, wouldn't the Tsuchida women know that their male relative were off stealing girls? They loathed them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least, so at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. Dang, Ren is getting the freaking, uh, you know, she's getting a little brain power going. Had a Jimmy Neutron brain blast. That seems to explain the whole legend, but that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka or get out of here. Let's go, Ren. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Hey, don't walk in the dark. Why would he just leave me here? Why would he just... Why would... Why would he just leave me here? S Stop it! I don't know where you came from! And I can't take you back! Leave us alone already! Take me back to the earth. To the earth? That's right. You're not mermaids. Just normal women. You don't like looking so hideous. I'll do what I can. Now this this is the part that doesn't make sense because Aren't they they're dead, right? So is this where like the supernatural starts kicking in? Because they, they shouldn't be able to uh, talk to me and stuff. She's looking with murky white eyes. All of them. Oh, gosh. Pickaxe. I just knew we were going to have to pick that up and, like, bust the glasses. The stuff. Some kind of machine. Mm. So I guess we're going to have to save some uh, mermaid women. Or some women, actually. Dynamite. Yeah, with this. You want to blow up the cavern and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite will do the trick. The fuse is way too short. There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I want to do something. I know. I wouldn't want to look like... I know I wouldn't want to look like this forever. They want to be taken back to be saved. Please, Sataro, help me out. Maybe they could, like, throw a rock at it. No! But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? 
Oh, you never listen. Ugh. Oh. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds tops before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. Alright, let me let me just save it first. Ren, you wait above. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like heck when I light it, okay? Wait, let me save it. Three. Oh, uh, looks like looks like this gotta be first attempt, guys. Come on, we could do this, my samurai. Two. One, go, go, boom, boom, gotta get to the top, first attempt, baby, yeah, hey, that was, sound like a freaking fat man from Fallout 3, the ground caved in, that should fill up that cavern, Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Whoa. Uh, tears? They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls'. Dude, I'm about to start crying. What the freak is... What am I feeling in my heart right now? I think the generator started working. Or... I, hold up. Oh, no, it's just a boat. Well, I wonder what happens next. Ren! Old man! Now, was he a part of all that? So you filled it in, did you? Uh, yeah, he freaking was. You dang old coot! You knew all about this? And you still invited us here? Our whole family adores mermaids. Even if they loathe us, they cannot seek help. So, they needed someone to help them. They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Suchita, tell me, did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. You were in that village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes, also right. Th the heck didn't you do anything? Your family did all this? The mermaids adore us. They never sought help before. But what my ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow. Okay, he wasn't directly involved like I thought he was. But I knew no mere monument would save anyone. Yet, I could not release the girls. That's a very uh, peculiar and disturbing stance you're in. I love them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You dang foggy! I'm calling the police! Stop, Ren. The statute of limitations is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Yuta a map to the highway earlier. It should be easy to descend the mountains now. What are you going to do, Mr. Sachita? I suppose I'll mourn for them for the short remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the departed mermaids, and above all, for my family. Yuta! Whoa, Ren, Sataro! Listen, the engine works now. Oh, and the old man came back with a map. We can finally go home. Alright, Yuta. Help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait. We should thank the old man. We already did. Come on, let's go. <sighs> man. 
All right, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Well, we still got a blanket over her. Hey! Yuka! Have it been alive since episode one? Ren? Huh? I... You! Yuka! Aww. <laughs> Finally! We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, just that she was cold. Yuta's buying a new car, finally. He wants to have one with a GPS, so he, he's working hard at his job, but I'm iffy on traveling, blah 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 blah. Sotaro's taken to calling me Ape Woman, I guess that's an upgrade from Yama Monkey. How mean can a guy get? Oh, and I? I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The end. Underwater dream. That's, that's the good end, right? I'm, I'm sure that's got to be the best because everyone survived. Yes! Another RPG horror adventure down! We, um, have completed Mermaid Swamp. And I just gotta say, the freaking Suchita ancestors, you sick pieces of trash. They kidnap freaking women and put them in tanks of water to watch them drown. And then watch their body freaking suck up all the water and look hideous. What kind of sick... Fetish! My gosh, man, that was freaking disgusting, but we came, we conquered. We almost lost um, a couple of people along the way, but we managed to do it without um, any casualties. We've broken the freaking mermaid swamp curse. There's nothing else that's gonna happen. Um, and I just gotta say, this was an amazing RPG horror game. Thank you so much to Yuri. I think that's the name of the person who made this Paranoia Crooked Man. All of my favorites. Um, you got quite the talent. These are really fun to play. And I can't wait to my next adventure. So I want to thank you all so much for going through another series with me. I freaking love doing these things. They are so fun. Um, I'm going to miss Ren, Sitaro, Yuta, Yuka. That was, I mean, Yuka, she, she didn't have many lines at all. But nonetheless, they were some pretty cool characters. I'm going to miss them. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys supporting the series and liking and doing all that stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed Mermaid Swamp. If you did, be sure to subscribe to Samurai, place that like button, subscribe today to join the Samurai. And I'll see you brothers and sisters in the next RPG Horror.